Do you think, well, let me put it this way. What do you say to an independent voter or an average voter who looks at what's going on with Donald Trump? You have his assets might be seized tomorrow. You also have the hush money uh, case from uh, the attorney general, uh, I'm sorry, the district attorney, Alvin Bragg of New York. You also have the Georgia case about election interference. You also have uh, the special counsel investigation on election interference. You also have the classified documents case down in Florida. That's five cases. And to a voter, what do you say to a voter who says, well, that doesn't look like he's being treated equally be uh, before the law. That looks like somebody that the government is going after. Has there ever been a president, Republican or Democrat, that has been subject to this level of criminal charges, indictments, and investigations. This is not about party. This is not about politics. This is about corruption and criminality. We're talking about an individual who ordered essentially a terrorist attack on the capital of the United States in order to retain power. That, that is not about being a Republican. It is not about being a Democrat. It's about being an unethical and individual who is subject and prone to criminality. And unfortunately, um, I, this is the state that we're in. And I actually think that the fact that it's happening in so many places and so many jurisdictions cuts in the face of that. This is not just New York. This is Georgia. This is federal courts as well.